Richmond time dispatch. Yes, we're going to stop in front of the building, people. Media General. Is that what it says? Uh, half the half the sign. Yeah, do it. Get up. Get up. Right, right about there. Yeah, that'll, that'll work. Have that in the background. That's good because yeah, I can a little bit see it there. This is Chris Dorsey. We're just going to do a quick recap from the yeah, from, from the, the Trump rally. Psy -op. Yeah, from the psyop, the Trump rally. Uh, it was completely run by the police. Uh, we saw police days, fights, police provocateurs. We went up to get in with our press passes. Glenn has much better press passes than I do. But again, we don't even feel like we need these press passes because the First Amendment, you know, and also we're not really subject to a fictional creation of man. But we're not VIP media either. So they, the Secret Service refused to even speak to us while we were filming. So we, of course we never turned our camera off because we were surrounded by the police. As soon as the Secret Service, or what we think is the Secret Service, gave their signal, we were chased around by, what, 30 to 40? State, uh, at least, uh, at least I had at least 40 of them on me. Yeah, uh, okay. So then we couldn't even get out once we got in, even though we had tickets and we had press passes to get in. Then we went in and went amongst the protest, which was completely run by the police. The police, as you will see in the video, that and we, yeah, the feeds. we, the police were, were escorting and leading the, uh, uh, the uh, um, uh, protesters in every way. The same old Go Lato, uh, Go Gatsby, Gunther. We saw Dave Martin, people, and people like that. We saw people fighting with the police and, and, and assaulting other people and nothing. The uh, police Mary, you they want got to assaulted and right in front of the Did you want to interview her? And we have no idea if they even arrested the person. I don't have the curse hat on. But again, <laughs> but, but again uh, you know, I thought I was punched in the ear. This lady came up and said, oh, thanks for protecting me because there was a bunch of shit that was going down and like basically, we, you know, I was like, got in front of this lady, but I thought that somebody had punched me, but it turns out through an eyewitness that somebody hit me in the back of the head, mostly the ear area, with a rock. And we've got video of all uh, that as well. Then just now the police, uh, I mean, they tried to detain us how many times? Quite a few. Quite a few times. Uh, the police stopped their, uh, uh, their bike. They almost ran over me with their bike. Anyways, all this stuff is just put on by Warren Buffett, who was media general. This was a big psyop. It was all run by the police. There were only about 500 people inside the Richmond Coliseum. There were only about 200 protesters. And there were about, what? Thousands of cops? At least. Well, at least a thousand. And what about a thousand? Well, let's say a thousand because I didn't go around the other side. We're talking about undercovers. We're talking about agent provocateurs. Yeah, well, if we're talking that, yeah. And as, as you'll see in the video, and I'm just giving you an overview. We'll, 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 we'll get into we'll, the We'll break down later. the analysis because later. The police initiated every movement of the protesters. And they're still following us around with the fucking course, probe, yeah, the drone and shit. Except for media general and war. But, but alright, we'll catch we'll up get, later. We'll catch up later. This is all a big, you know, side out of, you know, institutions that control the U.S. government, the military industrial complex, the Zionist international banking cartel, the Federal Reserve Bank, Bank for International Summit, etc., etc., etc. Alright, Glenn Sutphin for Get the Nearest Straight signing off. Chris Dorsey, peace.